Hey, what's going on there, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to episode number three of the Blackpool FC uh, career mode. And we are just at the end of the trans window. I did stop it a little bit earlier than I usually would. Simply because I want to do a little bit more of my own research and scouting some players. I've got some players who I'm scouting, so I'll let you know when I've got a bit more information on them. But we will be making at least one signing. I'm hopefully going to improve his side a little bit, get out one big signing, maybe two. Maybe even more, depending on what money we got. I definitely want to try and improve his side. But honestly, this side for League One should get out of it. But that does not mean I am not going to try and improve this team. So, um, and also, I've not released any of these episodes yet. I'm still re um, just releasing the Hawkeye series. But um, I hope you guys are loving the first couple episodes. And I hope you're enjoying them so far. And I hope I'm doing Blackpool career mode justice. Now, we are going to move on. Um, just while we're waiting for some Sky reports to come back. We've got about a week or so before they come back. Going to simulate this game against Crawley Town. As I said, the Carabao Cup, until, unless we get a little bit further into it, I'm honestly just going to simulate it. We'll get to Crawley. I think they're League 2, so we'll see what we can do against these guys. Uh, and we do win. Rogers gets a brace and bowler with one as well. So, very good stuff. And honestly, probably when we get back to the next round, I'll see who we're playing. I'm, I'm going to have to start taking it seriously. So... Let's have a quick look at the shortest we've got going on right now. As I said, I would like to go for a centre back and I would like to go for a centre mid, maybe an attacking midfielder. So honestly, I could go out and sign three players, but that is only if I've got enough money. You know, honestly. So we've got a few players here at centre back uh, who I could generally go for if I wanted to, to really. Um, I've still got people like Kula Bali who I tried to go for before. Um, I'd have to pay his release clause, 2.8. Again, that's quite expensive, but again, he's 18. He's got good eye. <sighs> Whether I want to do that. Honestly, centre-back's not too bad at the minute, especially for this season. So, honestly, if anything, it's probably the least of my worries. Out of the three positions, I kind of want to get a better player in. So, we'll see what we're doing with that afterwards. People like Jack Steele, I wouldn't actually mind too much having. He's a pretty solid player um, from Middlesbrough. Again... I'm more thinking as well, is it realistic enough for a player who's in the first team playing in championship to come down to League One? I don't know. Um, you could probably make a case that maybe he's seen the vision of what we're doing, but again, I don't know. Um, got some good players in the CDM role, but again, them guys, well, I can't go for these guys to all on loan, and this guy's not willing to relocate. Got a few sentiments there. Got people like Ryan McGree, but I can't actually go for him. He's just joined. Um, still waiting on the final bit, but Alex Scott's actually seriously someone I'm actually really seriously thinking about going for because he looks like an absolute stud. And he looks like someone who can be really good in that centre mid role for me. So I might consider him. And if I wanted to go for an attacking midfielder, obviously. And also the left mid. Like, them positions in the left mid and the camp positions are sort of like the similar positions in my eyes. And I kind of, it's more like having four four wingers in a way. But also, I like him having a little bit more areas where they've got a bit of technical ability as well. Like Zuri, Zaru, Zaru, Zaruri, he looks pretty good. But again, he's one far too out of our price range. And also, Burnley are a top, top team in the championship. They He would definitely not drop down to League One at this point. Middlesbrough team, yeah, maybe, because they're, well, at this point in career mode, they weren't that great. They were more mid-table to lower league. Obviously, in real life, they're absolutely flying under Michael Carrick. Uh, kudos to him. Um, we've got people like J John Buckley, who looks pretty nice as well. Uh, we've got Poku, who's worth $2 million. Uh, Tyrese Dolan, who actually looks pretty nice. I'm wondering whether to maybe go for him just to have someone on someone quite fast and good on the bench, maybe. Um, NDI, again, these are strikers. Zolus is actually someone I'm actually quite considering, in a way, because he's got an alien game face, 20 years of age. I actually quite need someone in that position, if I'm honest. So, Zolus, 
I'm actually quite considering going for. And you know what? I'm actually going to go for him. Um, if anything, I might put him on the right rather than the left. I don't know. Or I might try and convert him into a cam. I don't know. I'd have to see. I don't think there's really anyone I really want to simulate. Like, tip, move over. I can maybe try and give up Rian Brickcourt and give them a few million. Let's have 3.3 plus the 350 from Brickcourt. Let's see what Norwich say about that. We don't want Brickcourt, we just want 4.2 up front. Um, I've got to be careful because the tension is a little bit high. Um, let's try 3.7. And they're going to accept that. You know what? Very close to his his value. I'll take that. For a good winger who's got... I, I've seen plenty of times when this kid's got high potential so and high overall. So And also, it's always a plus when they've got an in-game face. Um, I'm going to honestly just... What's his actual wage? What wage is he on? Uh, start... No. I was gonna say enough. I think he'd actually reject that if I did seven to ten k a week. Um, so that one's do it, that one's going off there. If I wanted to be honest, probably the only other player I'd want to go for is Alex Scott. But again, I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to afford him now because the fact um, I'm going for Zolis. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to find that out. Uh, we're going to simulate this one against Paul Bayless in the Papa John's Trophy. I'm fine just letting this go. As, as I said, if we got to like a semi-final, I'd start taking it seriously. Lavery misses a penalty. Uh, I've not really had any big offers for any of my big players who I might be considering selling. Um, if I'm honest. So, I'm waiting for that kind of offer to come in. But nothing as of yet. So Zolis has accepted his offer, and he is officially a Blackpool player. There it is, the confirmation for 3.7 million. We have made a, possibly our biggest sign of the, of the season, Christos Zolis. And obviously, I know is it, it's we've bought him from a big team, but again, I've always said to I don't think this guy gets played enough. I've, I've seen a lot of games where he's not played, and maybe he's not hitting his potential just yet. But um, I feel like he's going to get played most games of us. So... It's a bigger opportunity for him here. He's worth 2.8 million. I'm got. I might consider just going in for him, and I might. I might try and do a player swap to try and um, tempt him into doing it. But I just really, really doubt we're gonna do it. Um. Got tribal, why don't we just try him? Let's try this. We don't want tribal. Oh, oh my god, and their attention's gone all the way to, to that. Let's try Dougal. I don't think this is going to work either. It's a similar player, but. Let's try that. Okay. We're fine with Dougal. Put a uh, five cent on cause just to sweet the deal. I feel like this is going to be difficult to do. I 
I've probably got one more shot of this. Before we walk out. And it's more the fact I'm worried that we're not going to have enough money. Okay. I am. Um, I'm just really, really down to we're going to be able to get this done. I feel like we're not going to. Maybe I should have maybe sold someone else early in the window, but. Once in time, I've not really got time. I'll be honest. I know I've not got his full thing yet, but from his value, you can sort of tell what kind of player he is, especially when he's only 19 years of age. Ooh. I'm going to hear back. Oh. We pretty much accepted that. Yeah, I'll accept the 3%. Okay. Let's... I'm just I'm just wondering whether we're going to have enough money to get this over the line. He was five years. I'm not fussed about that. Oh my god! It, it is going to work. Right, okay, let me just see if I can sort work this out a little bit better for us. How about that? Ladies and gents, we have a brand new centre midfielder in Alex Scott from Bristol City. Let's go. So arguably the biggest signing for us now. I mean, obviously we've got Zolis in, but Alex Scott, I really want someone good in that midfield. And... We've got beef for that. Unfortunately, it does mean we have to let Dougal go. But honestly, at 29 years of age, and Patino was playing ahead of him. Scott's 70 rated, so honestly, we've got an upgraded player. I am very, very happy with that. And honestly, this is the business we've done this season. We've got a tiny bit of cash over. I'm, I'm going to keep that for the Youth Academy and anything else. Um, I'm going to also sell some players during this time. Um, so obviously we can get some some um, contracts done in the meantime as well. Um, obviously I don't want to lose any players. But honestly I'm really happy about it. I think Zolis has already gone up by an overall as well. McNeil. So we've honestly really, really injected some good youth talent. We've got him on a massively cheap deal as well. I don't know how much Alex got played for um, Bristol City. But I I'll take that. I'll take that, and we got him on a pretty damn good deal, if I say so myself. So, guys, the team is set, and this is what the team is going to be looking like. So, this is the team we're going to be going forward for this first half of the season. And honestly, I think we've done a great job, obviously. We got so lucky getting Rodgers in the Youth Academy. And we've got uh, Scott in that midfield now. We'll see how he does. Patino is still on the bench, so we'll see how that goes. Zolis now is on the left. I am training up to be left mid, not left winger. Will take a bit of a time, but apart from that, we're going to keep it as it is. Um, unfortunately, obviously, Anderson, he's going to go on the bench. Um, but apart from that, I feel like we've got a great, great squad to go in this first half of the season. And honestly, we are going to be going full steam ahead now and getting through this first half of the season. But the first game we're going to be playing of this episode is against Shrewsbury. They're just behind us by two points, so I definitely, definitely want to play this game. Um, Bo is a little bit tired, so probably the only change I might make. Then again, Rogers and Anderson are quite tired as well. Uh, the player is away on international duty and cannot be placed in this match. I'm trying to get him out. Oh my god, this game. I swear, sometimes this game. I want to headbutt it sometimes. Okay, I'm just going to... It's gonna leave up for now. Let's go. Right. This is what I don't understand about this game sometimes. Like, you don't have enough players to fill the bench next match. You will advance with these less play. Why? It's because you won't let me change a player who's on that. Like, come on. Come on, seriously, FIFA. Come on, sort this out. Either way, let's get into this game and hopefully Zolas and Scott have a great debut. 
Here we go, guys. Bloomfield Road awaits. Interesting to see these two new signs we've got. I've never played with these guys either. I've never used them in career mode. So again, always exciting using some new players in career mode. We'll see how it goes. I said, this is the team we're going to go through in the next half of the season. We've got people up Tino, Anderson on the bench now. Uh, Beasley's on the bench for Lavery. Uh, obviously, he's on international duty apparently, so... The so only thing we've got to be careful of is international duty if it's low down, but hopefully it doesn't affect us too badly. Sure, is there anyone I recognise? Tom Flanagan, I think I recognise. He used to be a, a, a Liverpool player. Bayless as well. Uh, Chris and Sadie, I recognise. I think he. He's, he's either on loan from Bournemouth before he's signed for Bournemouth. He used to play for Bournemouth. But either way, Pennington, Pennington as well. I think, think he's ex Everton. So, come on, guys. This could be a big, big three points if we can get it. Let's go. Yeah, he's coming up the ball. We're just going to get this. Zollis, Zollis turns, shoots, oh, first shot on target for him, for the Greek winger, and he pulls a great save out of the keeper, unfortunately not too much in the corner, he needed to be, Josh Bowler, it's Scott, Charlie Good, he's going to head this one down, and it's Rogers with a great curling effort, and he's curled us into the lead, Rogers with a bullet, with a beautifully acrobatic touch into that top corner. That did not make any sense, but whatever, it was just a great goal. Look at this, Charlie Good just headed this down, and then Perveda passes it into Rogers, gets it on his favoured left foot, and bends it beautifully. Our number seven, taking us into the lead. Come on, Rogers. I don't know how he got out of that. He's always just brilliantly there. And Perveda, he's got out from Yates. Now Perveda! Ian Perveda! Joys and jubilation! Great teamwork there. Jerry Yates being the provider this time for Perveda. It's usually the way around this season. Look at that. Great little touch inside there. But Vader, all he had to do is make sure he got the finish right. What in real life is his problem is his finishing. But he had no issues there. Okay. The old card for Rogers. Jerry Yates. Look at this room. What are they doing? They're allowing Jerry Yates in! And he just smashed it home! We are leading three goals to nil at home in the first half. Oh my God, this is an immense, immense result here. Previous games we've struggled, but I will take this. Look at that. Pure power by the striker. He has just absolutely walloped that one in with pure power. He's not giving the keeper any chance. Yeah, he's over the top. And he's got this here. Look at this. Pure pace by the striker. And Josh Bowler! Oh! Had a curler himself and he went for it. Let's bring Dominic Thompson on for Lions, who's had again had a great performance. Going to give him a rest now. Couldn't stop that, unfortunately. 
They managed to get themselves a goal. We just couldn't get ourselves back in line. Good again. I've got to say, good. He's been having a few of them moments where he sort of cost us a goal or so. Aveda is falling for him again. Ah, he's just won't fall for him. Okay, Shannon with this. And it's down Jerry Yates! That is his second goal of the game! That is what he needed there. A good ball into the box by Anderson. Come on, let's go. And Jerry Yates gets his well deserved second goal of the game. Everyone's standing still. Yates just constantly on the move. And it's a great little header, and the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. We've technically got five minutes to get a hat trick. Oh, Anderson. This is a chance here. Anderson. Jerry Yates! He has his hat trick! Hat trick, Jerry Yates! He is having a pie down there! Anderson with two, two assists today, and he's only been on the pitch for about half an hour. He's definitely having a fight with, with uh, them wingers on who he should start, but great stuff. I love the little competitions between them. And Jerry Yates gets his hat trick today. The first hat trick of the series, I'd say. Come on, 5 1. We have dominated this game. They had a little bit of a moment where they looked like they could maybe get back into it, but no, we have shut that down. He's got five goals in six games in the League One, and he is absolutely loving life. Good work by his season, just blocking that, but there we go. 5-1, a big, big victory, and that man goes away with the match ball. Jerry Yates, well in, son. Okay, guys, so we're going to move on. We've got quite a few games to get through. I don't know how I'm going to really structure this season. I think I'm going to do it as I, I have done before when I've done lowly. I don't, I'm not going to specifically, especially because of the amount of games League 1 and Championship have, and even when I've started in League 2 with previous teams, there is so many games. Sometimes I don't want to simulate all them games. So I'm going to play by ear, and maybe I might leave an episode, sort of like I did the previous episode where I left it a bit short for a certain reason. Safe is another game where I'm going to want to play, but I'm going to leave it until the next episode. Maybe we won't get to the end of the, end of the month by that point. Obviously, some episode, sometimes if we're playing quite a lot of teams below us, and a lot of teams, like, say, in the relegation zone, all that stuff, then we'll um, move forward and start simulating a few end games. Because, obviously, we will be a little bit more simulating than usual because uh, of the amount of games, and obviously we just don't... We don't. We want. I want to keep this career going at a good, good pace. So, um, but we've got this game against Wickham. I am going to simulate this one. Um, let's hopefully can we continue win. We are second place at the minute. And no, we don't. We lose. I was tempted to play this one if I'm honest, but then uh, I, f I just wanted to kind of get a couple of games out of the way. But we do suffer our second loss of the season. Well, it's not great. Got this game against Burton. Gotta to simulate this one as well. I don't want to simulate. I don't want to simulate too too many, but and we do win this one. Yates and Ball gets us back into win his ways. Brilliant stuff. I was tempted to play that one as well because obviously Burton are quite close to us as well. Um, but we have got we've got Lincoln City. There we go. We got the confirmation what Lou Garbett is going to send to Etienne um, in, in January. I'll take that. Get a little bit of cash, cash in for him. This kind of game against Lincoln, I'm definitely going to simulate just because we've got the, the availability to. So we'll simulate this one. 
and I've simulated quite a few, but you do draw this one as well. Ugh. Is that who I think it is as well? Is that Luke Plunge? It is as well. Luke Plunge. Oh my god. If you don't know, he's an absolute Derby legend for us. Obviously, he was at Crystal Palace and um, last last year's FIFA. And he was, he was sort of like a Ganacho type because he had no star here, but because he grew so nicely, I kept him. Okay, a uh, little bit of clarity. We've just played one more game, and we actually just lost 5 0 to Blackpool, uh, to Bristol City. I played that, and we lost 5 0. Jesus Christ, if I needed any indication that I am on ultimate difficulty, that was it. Um, sorry, I do apologise. Um, the f I, I need to keep resetting the recording every hour, and I, I it, it stops, and then I forgot to press record again. That's the only game you've missed. Um, I'm just going to simulate... I'm going to leave this episode at this last game against Ipswich because I do want to play this game. Um, and I don't want to risk losing it because it's a big, big game. Uh, but we'll leave it here because I do really want to play this game against Ipswich who are uh, first play. So it's a big, big game. They've not actually lost yet. Neither is Peterborough. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed. Unfortunately, we are out of the Carabao Cup. It is unfortunate. Honestly, you played the second team. They just played goddamn awful. I can't. Some of the players, I'm honestly, they might have just dug their own graves. But it was one game. I'm gonna let it go. Um, but we are sitting second in the table. It's exactly where I want to be in that top two. So um, hopefully we stay there. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please, if you're enjoying the series so far, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for me. It helps me grow this channel out to the best as I possibly can. And also, it shows me that you want to see more episodes of this career mode. So, I'll try and get these episodes out to you quick as possible. I am trying to aim for probably every two to three days for this career mode. Just so it's got a nice, evenly distributed episode. So, gives everyone a chance to see it before the next one. Uh, but I will be putting more polls up for the next transfer window or uh, for next season, stuff like that. I'll be to keep an eye out for the on the community page of this channel, uh, so you can get involved. And also follow me on them twit on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, so you can get involved in. I I, I always post on there, post update vi videos, post nice like before and afters for the for the actual career modes like showing what the team started like to what it ended like we'll do the same for this one i'm going to be doing one for the hawkeye series so go for me on them it helps me grow on them platforms as well uh, but thank you so much for watching guys i'll be seeing you in the next episode till next time i'm the hawkeye punisher and i am out